Hi. What a game last night. I mean, the Super Bowl is generally pretty good, but last night was amazing. I mean, you've got these two teams, the Arizona Cardinals, who some had said were the worst team in NFL playoff history against the Pittsburgh Steelers, this juggernaut of a team who had the best defense in all the league and a pretty good offense to show. And you have these two teams coming together to compete for one prize that cannot be shared, the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And it's kind of about the object, you see, but it's more about the ability to say we were the best team in the league that year. It's about pride. It's about prestige. And this is what they come together to compete for. And oh, it was such a great game. I mean, you have, you have the Arizona Cardinals who looked pretty weak the whole time. And then you have the Pittsburgh Steelers whose defense was great and whose offense was good. And you have this 20 to seven lead going into the fourth quarter. And you're going into the fourth quarter thinking, well, maybe Arizona could make a comeback. I mean, they just need two touchdowns, and then they'll have a 21-20 to lead. And so there's this glimmer of hope for the Arizona Cardinals, and they end up coming back. Their offense comes alive, and they slice through the Pittsburgh defense, and they make these great runs and these great throws, and it gets exciting. And then they take the lead in the last couple of minutes, only to lose it in the end. I mean, what a, what a great game. Pittsburgh marches down the field in the last couple of minutes and wins the game. I mean, the drama is amazing. It was great. But I suppose it depends on whose perspective you are, right? I mean, if you're an Arizona Cardinal fan, maybe it wasn't such a great game. If you're an Arizona Cardinal fan, maybe, maybe you'd rather not make the greatest comeback in NFL Super Bowl history only to lose it in the last two minutes. Maybe you'd rather just have it be the 20 to 7 score at the end of the game so that you know definitively that you were the worst team that day, that the other team was better than you. And instead there's this question. Have you ever seen at the end of a Super Bowl where they have the, they interview the winners and someone will say something like, thanks be to God, or someone will say, thank you, Jesus, we won the game. Do you think that Jesus is really on the side of the winners? I don't know. I mean, is God really this intimately involved in a Super Bowl game? Where maybe God is saying, okay, we're going to make this one team make this great comeback, only to lose it in the last couple of minutes. Is God intimately that involved in it? I don't know. And then the whole question about God being on the side of the winners. I mean, (coughs) if you look at the life of Jesus, is God really on the side of the winners? I mean, everybody expected, his followers at least, expected Jesus to build up an army, to become this great king and overthrow all of Rome. And he didn't do that. In fact, he died not having accomplished the expectations of his followers. And so he's seen as a loser and all of his followers desert him in the end, thinking, man, we followed the wrong guy. But in the end, this loser... It's shown that God was actually on his side. Maybe God is on the side of the losers. Is God on the side of the winners? Is God on the sides of the losers? Is God on both sides? (coughs) Is God for reconciliation among the winners and the losers of society? I mean, maybe what God wants people to do is to hear the voice of of the victim to hear the voice of the losers. And is that something that we want to do? Is that something that the winners are comfortable doing? I mean, take the Super Bowl, for example. You have all of these interviews with the winners, a couple interviews with the losers, but not very many. 
because at least for me anyway, I want to celebrate with the winners. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, this I don't. This infects, I think, a lot of our culture, not just the Super Bowl, right? I mean, when we go to something like as serious as war, there's this kind of this underlying assumption or thinking that God is on our side or that we are on God's side or something like that. And if we win, that understanding gets vindicated. We're the winners. God is on our side. We're the most powerful nation in the world. God bless America. God's on our side. But maybe, maybe the point is to not is not so much that God is on our side, but that God opens our ears to hear the voice of the losers, to hear the voice of the other, that we might act as God acts in the world in order to heal, as Jesus goes around healing people, maybe this is what we're called to do. Together, the winners and the losers coming together in community. Is that possible? I don't know. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. <laughs>